Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to the Chimerite server for episode something or other. I have no clue. I've totally been forgetting, but uh, look at this chest. Ooh, goody, goody, goodies. I am in my vault. I don't know. There's not really actually anything useful in there. <laughs> a few blocks of iron and a few blocks of gold. The gold might be worth it, but the iron is definitely not worth it since we do have an iron farm. I did change this block to a gold block. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to bring attention to it, but I guess I did. We look at the level. Look at our experience bar. I think we should be. I think we technically should be level 32. You know what? It's driving me kind of mad. Let's go get level 32. Actually, let's make sure that our villagers are okay, cause I haven't checked up on my villagers in a while. How are you guys doing? You guys all right? Yeah, you guys okay? Donkey, how are you? What's in your thing? Ah, eh, dark oak wood. Eh, it doesn't matter. We actually need to get to the top of the top of the Nether. Not sure how to do that. We'll have to figure that one out some other time so that we can make a gold farm. But uh, right now what we're going to do is, wow, wow, I should really get some materials for this. We are going to go over to the Chimerite Hotel and we are going to attempt to make a, um, a basement for it. I don't know exactly why. I just thought, why not? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So we're going to need one slime block. We're going to need one sticky piston. So let me grab one more slime ball. We're going to need uh, to make that piston. How do you make said piston? You need a piece of redstone. I know that much. You need a piece of redstone. You need some iron. Wow, I left all my... Do I have... Please tell me I have iron here. Shoot! Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and one, two, three. We need cobblestone. We need three pieces of cobblestone, I think. Or no, four. We need four pieces of cobblestone. And what's said or what not. Uh, one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna quickly get my stuff all together, get a sticky piston going, and I will see you all when I am at the Chimerite Hotel. All right, all right. So I have my stuff with me. I got some building blocks as well. Okay, well, <laughs> damn it. My secrecy doesn't work. It is called the key. Damn. There you go. Now you guys, now you guys know what it is called. My key is called the key. It's not a very, it's not a very uh not a very interesting name, I'm not going to lie. I want to put this thing right here, but I feel like people might fall. Actually, who's people? I'm pretty much the only one that comes to this hotel on a regular basis. But uh, we're going to put it right here. Yeah, there should be some water here, I was going to say. If there was no water here, that would definitely be a problem. Uh, let's just place blocks like so. Get the water out of here. As you can see, I do have uh, the whatever it's called on. I have the respiration. I have respiration on my uh, helmet, which is helping out quite a bit. And jump boost might come in handy right about now. For the first time. Nope. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, maybe at least I can break. No, I can't. Uh, I want to fill up some blocks so that we can get rid of the water. If I had some sponges, that might be a bit easier. Too bad we don't have any sponges right about now. I would not mind having some sponges. Alright, so we're going to go like this. I think this is how big we're going to make it. Maybe even less than that. Ooh, oh, I thought I just blocked myself out. But uh, even not here. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to put it there. We're going to put it right... No, we wanted to put it against the wall, right? That's what I will buy. We, it's me, because I'm the one building it, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to put it there. I need to get back in somehow. Come on. Okay. Well, time to break these blocks. Actually, wait. Can I just break? Oh, no, I can just go around. I need to take a breath of air. There we go. It's cool that having having this depth strider and the, the breathing thing, the respiration, helps a lot. And we'll go like that. And like that. And there we go. Okay, and then we'll make it come back around this way. Ooh, I need to get a shovel. 
Let's actually go back up and make a shovel really quickly. Oh, I just noticed that I locked myself out. Fan freaking tastic. There should be a breath of air there. Breath of air. There we go. Got out of that one. And let's grab one, no, two sticks, and we need some of that. Unless I actually have, oh, right, right, right. We do have an iron golem farm right across from us. But I also have some iron right here. So, you can just put that there and there. Like so, and we jump back down, break the block, and breed a little bit of water. Which is not actually a good thing. If you are ever like in real life don't breathe water I'll just I'll just say that just don't breathe water in real life not a good idea but uh, we're gonna clear this area out a little bit let's get this thing going come on come on got to keep it going keep it cleared out this is gonna be a kind of a big project just because of the water oh there's the redstone from last from the project that I had last time this this project did not work out very well I can guarantee you that I well I mean I can tell you that right now the project did not work out. Oh, we have breaths of air every time. Yeah, we can just kind of breathe air all the time. Oh, yeah, actually, we wanted to... Now, why are we breaking these blocks back here? I don't understand that. We don't need... Wait, yeah, maybe we do. Yeah, we do. Because we're going around the backside. Just like so. I feel like I'm going to need to get more blocks in order to uh, fill, fill that in. But for now, it'll have to do... We'll have to be okay with it. So let's just fill that in like that. And this water is becoming full at the top. Not something I like, but it is fine. And like that. There we go. Once we get rid of this water, it'll be nice and easy to work with it. But right now, I just got to get rid of the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill that in like that. And like that. Nope, nope, nope. I want that block back. We're going to be low on blocks if I don't get that block back. There we go. So we have that done. There's a really weird lighting glitch going on, but that is okay with me. I love the way I swim fast. I like, this is totally dark and this is totally light. Like, I don't understand that. So what we got to do now is we got to fill the entire thing up. Actually, let's do chunks. Chunks at a time would might be better. So like this. Yeah, like that. And then once we br once we go in here, we are allowed to break these. So we can just kind of do this kind of chunks at a time. And be able to break a uh, good amount of blocks at a time. So if we just keep on going like this. And I think I missed one there. Yep. Alright. And then we should be able to break this one now. There we go. Like this. We could put down torches at the end, and if we want to get rid of the water source blocks here and there. Yep, there we go. So we got we, can, we got rid of the, some of the source blocks. Let's keep on doing this. And this is definitely not the worst water project I've ever had. I've definitely had a lot worse for water projects. I made an underwater base one time. And I had to go pretty far down. I had to, like, take out all the water there. But, um, yeah, so this one, this is not too much of a challenge. Especially with the the, the nicety of having uh, the boots and the helmet that I do have. I can just breathe constantly. So let's just take this out. This is going, we're going at a nice pace. We're getting rid of this water at a good pace. And we'll have to wood slab this entire area around here. But that, 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 that won't be too hard. It won't be too hard for the roof, and then just let's just double this up. Let's just double this up. Oh, we need more blocks, more blocks, please. And then break this one and that one. I just want to get this water out before I dig down any further because I'm gonna dig down a little bit more, and then we're gonna have um, the stone slabs at the bottom as a floor. Which should look nice. But yeah, this is definitely not the final level. This is just kind of like right here. I feel like if I had another slab, I could jump onto that. Maybe not. But uh, let's just break that one right here. And and get this going. Uh, whoopsies, I missed one there. 
Um, there we go. I bet Aqua Affinity would be nice as well now. Like if I had Respiration and Aqua Affinity, I think I do. But it's on my other uh, helmet. It's on my Diamond Helmet instead of my Iron Helmet, which I'm wearing right now. But uh, we do have Speed Boost, which is really nice, and also Jump Boost. Speed Boost helps us even with Depth Strider. It just makes it a lot easier to uh, work with water and stu stuff like that. Stuff like that. Such such other things around that. Okay, I don't want any monsters spawning in here. I'm going to light up this side as well. Kind of like that. Light it all up. And keep on working. One more. A little bit, little bit more. Just three more, three more layers. Shouldn't be too hard. Try to get them all done at once. And we should be good after this. After a few more locks. There we go. We should be waterproof now. Waterproof. We should be water free here somewhere. Yeah, we should be good with the water now. Oh, baby. Alright, so let's just break this down. Break all of this down. This is where haste 2 would come in handy, like, a lot. It would be pretty helpful. Actually, no, I would destroy all these blocks too fast and all the water would just come pouring in. We'll have to replace those wool with uh, wood so that it looks decent. But let's place some torches now. Like this. And then let's actually dig down a little bit, little ways. And we're going to have to replace that bottom block with the stuff as well. I'm not sure how far we want to go down. Maybe maybe one more block after this one. One more block after this one, and then I think we should be good. And then we will have a nice place to uh, put our slabs on. We'll have the bottom. No, we'll have the top slab. Yeah, we'll have a top half slab. So if we were standing here... Okay, wait, let, let me break this block. Let me break a few of these blocks. If we were standing here, that would be the roof. Yeah, that would be fine. This would be fine. So I'll take out the, another layer, and then I'll put in slabs there. So we only have to destroy this one layer and put in bricks there. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna quickly break all these blocks. The reason I'm doing this all on camera, you might be thinking, oh, I just time lapse it or something like that. And it's like, eh, I mean, you guys, you guys might enjoy watching me struggle. That might be a thing that you guys like to watch. I'm not sure. Uh, so let me quickly let me quickly just break some of this some of this edge a little bit and yeah I also like to talk to my viewers or my subscribers or whoever is really watching out yeah, viewers I guess is the best terminology I like to just talk to you guys even like during these um, these little like boring parts where maybe you guys aren't the most interested I like to just talk to you guys uh, but what we can talk about today is the Kymerite server so um, I'm currently on like episode 38 I think this might be 38 my inventory is full that's what I thought but uh, right now I'm on episode 38 and uh, uh, so so we're not gonna restart the server or reset or do anything with that anytime soon so don't worry about that if you do like the Kime Right server don't worry at all because that'll still be here for a longer time but once we do restart it not even restart it, but once we do like yeah, may, we so we're thinking that we might restart it, or we might um, just um, add some mods, and not like mods that cause the server to have to restart. Like if we're added like hardcore mods that change, like have new ores and stuff, then we definitely have to uh, restart the server. But we're thinking about mods like um, just like the money mods and stuff like that, like bucket mods that just kind of add a little new thing to the game. And I think that would be really cool, just having like a little bit of money in the game, like having money in the game so that you can like buy and sell your wheat or something like that and like sell diamonds if you find some. And then we actually have like an actual money system in our game. So then like if somebody wants to, uh, if somebody would like to like, if you want to have like a product that you're selling or like, or a service that you're selling, you can sell that. But, um, or like, yeah, you can sell that for like actual money, like you can ask for actual money instead of like instead of just like oh give me diamonds or something like that or like oh you have to owe me a favor or something like that so that's what I, I i'm thinking we should go f like do that for the second season once we get to season two and then maybe for season three we could have um we could just like restart the server and have it be have it be um with like hardcore mods like that change ores and stuff and like 
add everything into the game and that I think that would be pretty cool but I'd still have to figure out how to do that I'm not really quite sure I'll have to look up videos on that when we get to that point in time but right now I know uh, that we are not going to be doing anything like that for a while right now we're just happy to be playing on this server um, at least I am I'm not sure how other people are feeling about this server but I am definitely happy that we have it or that I am buying it right now. I guess you could say I'm, I'm renting out this server from GG servers if you guys want to check them out. I am not affiliated or I'm not, I don't have any affiliation or sponsorship from them. I just bought a server. I'm a customer of theirs, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, oh, this is actually looking pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, this is looking good. So what we have to do now, since we want this thing to be here, we have to put a sticky piston one block lower so right there then we put a slime block right there and then what we need to have right here and right here and on both actually and right here and right there we need to have um, melons yeah, you might not have expected that but you need melons there or obsidian but I prefer melons. That actually does not look very nice. We could just put in furnaces some other time. We'll figure it out whenever the time comes. But uh, let me break this block as well. Um, we just need to get underneath here and get a little bit of redstone going. So what we need to get is one right there, one right there. And dirt that back up and put the slabs in like so. And then I only brought one wooden pressure plate. I don't know why. Oh, baby. Oh baby. Oh, it's because of this roof, isn't it? So we'll have to do that. Alright, so let's try that now. Let's try that now. Let's try that now. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We just when you fall out of here. When you fall from there, you'll have to uh because when you're falling from here you'll probably fall down into it like if I go up to the top level that we have here okay so this is the top level if I were to come down here all right, I didn't make a good example let me try that one more time if I come up to the top and I just kinda of fall down then you're gonna fall down to the basement but that's fine so we have that going it definitely looks a little bit awkward I wish you could just kinda of put carpets here like this like awkwardly I don't I don't know how we would I don't know how I just put those carpets there oh it's cuz I have torches there Ooh, this brings in a cool oh my god wait no you can't go through carpets can you oh man okay if you could go through carpets that would be pretty cool like if I put a carpet on top of a carpet like right now you can't go through it like if I put a carpet above this like that I would hit my head I would hit my head like that but this is actually cool this is pretty cool um, maybe we can put in trap doors or something like that I'm thinking trap doors would be a good one to put into there oh boy this is actually kind of frustrating I kinda wanna put it over here like over there that wouldn't be too hard to do actually let's do it right now I just need I don't have anything silk touch no my melons I'm gonna have to get more melons actually do we have obsidian up there let me check because the water is kind of annoying do we have any obsidian up here we have furnaces we'll just make furnaces fur and I are not a problem actually we should probably get those things ready now just so that we don't have to come back up here so let's grab some of that where are the crafting tables there they are let's grab that and we need like I'm not sure we need a little bit more than that though I know that much we need a few more than that, so let's quickly make those. There we go. And let's come down here and let's break this like that. And like that, 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 and like that. I like the melons, but they have to go. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. That's the key that we need. Um put in those now uh, am I missing anything else no just those so let's place these back in after we get out of here we need to get go like that so we can place stuff above and then let's get that here we're gonna block those items in there so they disappear because we don't care about them 
Sorry, blocks. We just don't care. And here we go, like that. Ooh, man, that lighting is so sketchy. All right, 17 minutes. We'll yeah, we'll let just finish this up. We'll, we'll all, we're almost done, so that'll be good. Oh wait, do we want it right in this corner? Uh. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. This is good. This is good. This is good. So right here and right there and right there. It's kind of an awkward shape. We could just make it a four. Yeah, I'll be fine. So let's go like this. And one more down. And then we put this in there. Like so. And put that there. And then underneath this we go redstone. And we break this block. That's what I'm trying to break. Then we go uh, furnace, 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 right? Like that. So furnace, 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 furnace. And then furnace, furnace. And where are the slabs? Like that. And then we need this block right there. And then we need the pressure plate right there. Oh baby, this is why I only have one in there. It's just so that you can kind of get out of there. Oh baby, this is gonna actually be a kind of a difficult jump. You have to kind of face which way you want to go. That's fine. It, it looks decent, and that looks terrible. We'll have to adjust some of these things later. But anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this uh, this quick episode. Uh, just working on the Chimerite Hotel, making it look a little bit nicer. Actually, not look, not looking nicer. It's definitely not looking nicer. Making it a little bit bigger, I guess, is what you could say. But this basement is looking pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a little industrial area. Ah, shoot. There we go. So it's not too hard to get out. Uh, but it does look a little bit weird. We'll probably adjust that in another episode. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave it a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more Chimerite content as well as other games that I do play on my channel. Be sure to check those videos out as well. And anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, wait, what? No! Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. And if... Wait, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you all in the next video as well. I Anyway, just all I'm trying to say is goodbye. Goodbye, guys. See you in the next video.